Hello Aries, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Midval 3 Tarot, she's read you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was kind of, huh. What an interesting turnaround. Um, <laughs> interesting turnaround. Okay. This is interesting. I'm a little curious as to see how they're going to kind of move and operate, but we'll get there. Jumping into this, Aries, what they do show me right away, there definitely has been some type of breakthrough regarding them or their situation. I don't exactly know what this means for them, but they definitely are desiring to take action here on something. A little bit curious here because there is some sort of uh, emotional pain or disturbance that they are kind of mm, refusing here a little bit to drop and let go and move forward on. But I do see that they are resting, recovering, kind of it has an energy of kind of recuperating on it because they do show up immediately following this pretty confident within themselves and a little bit more in control. Definitely kind of taking the reins and getting this balance of themselves emotionally and mentally. So they are clearing some things up. And then all of a sudden there is this emotional distancing taking place and they are choosing to focus on their plans for their future. Okay, pretty direct and to the point. Thank you, Crosswatcher. Let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what we kind of find. It's interesting because even though they show me that there's something there that they're very difficult for them to kind of drop and work through, they eventually do. Let's see. what that is oh geez that's a heavy truth that is a heavy truth geez heavy is the hand that gives the sentence wow yeah um this truth or this breakthrough is pointing them in the direction of needing to make a decision about commitment i'm not too sure if this is regarding something between the two of you romantically or something regarding themselves financial but ultimately, whatever this, geez, whatever this decision is that they know they have to make, they know that they themselves are going to be 100% different after moving forward with this choice. That is saying a lot. That is saying a lot. <laughs> um, interesting. Again, with the lineup, it feels like. If you've been following, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Ultimately, what they're saying is they want to take action here. And there's... They're kind of saying they want to take action and there's nothing to process. There's nothing left to process. They're... Even though, yes, they are taking action, I kind of feel like they, they've lost their patience. Yeah, they don't, geez, how does that make sense? So, okay, so they're, <laughs> they're refusing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing, Crosswatcher, because what you're saying is you're, you're refusing to acknowledge these emotions of whatever this is that you're going through, and you're pointing the direction of you know what needs to be done, but you're not doing it quite yet. Um, they're refusing to kind of drop something or work through something here emotionally, but in order to kind of continue with some sort of endeavor. It's like, oh, I'm not going to drop this, but I'm going to keep going with things. And it's like, okay, kind of like holding a grudge a little bit. Holding a grudge. Yeah, they're, they're, 
um, they're recuperating to get their strength back. They are, which I feel like they're kind of saying, I'm going to recuperate, and when I feel good enough, I'm going to keep going. Okay. So in, so in, in, hmm. Even though they didn't want to fully acknowledge those emotions yet, they're going to have to eventually. Yeah. Okay, it's interesting. Then all of a sudden, it's a little switch. They're saying, okay, well, now I definitely want to kind of control, contain. I'm not sure if it's why they're showing me themselves. Um, they feel like, for some reason, this energy of being able to with, like, hold back or withhold something is where that energy of self-love comes from. And it's like, okay. They feel like this will lead to self-love. Is this like a roundabout way to... Yeah, there's definitely something here worth fighting for, but I'm not too sure exactly what that is. I'm not too sure yet. There's a little there's a little bit of there's still a little bit of internal battle going on within them. And that's what's interesting. It's kind of like they, they have their it feels as if their spirits are lifted for a moment. And the next energy is like, okay, well now what to do because I'm kind of I'm, once again it goes back to the energy of battling themselves. And then the next follow-up energy is meh, nothing left emotionally. And it's like Yeah, yeah, jeez, and they're, they, they're showing me that they're doing something for themselves, but then immediately following this, they're kind of like, yeah, I've lost the emotional interest, and now I'm kind of just going to go on my way and very quickly want to focus on my plans for the future. And it's just like, it's a pendulum swing from one direction to the next. Dare I say mood swing. Um, now I'm looking at 777. Yeah, they're... <laughs> it's almost like they're showing me and I'm emotionally absent and I'm out the door flying trying to figure out what my options are my what my plan is going to be and it's like okay okay they're going somewhere uh, possibly pursuing their happiness and fulfillment I don't exactly know but of course if you are dealing with anyone we do have Gemini Scorpio Sagittarius Leo Cancer and that's it goodbye